And this video is sponsored by the new Dodgy S98 Rogue phone with dual screen and Android 12. Link down below for a chance to win one of five Dodgy CR1 Pro smartwatches. Hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to answer a question that it's common on both my channels which is how to create a raid array on mac os and it's really easy i'll show in just a few moments i will take the chance that i'm using the terra master default 300 we did review it right over here and we also did connect this to the mystic tv which has eight gigabytes of internal storage but we did connect 16 terabytes of storage making it a mystic tv pro 4k which was a awesome i'm also recording this audio uh, of this particular video with the comic boom xd pro so that when i do my full review i will have some real world usage right over here that i can point you to this discs inside are the toshiba n300 four terabytes each which will give me a total of 16 terabytes that being said let's go to the screen right over here first of all let's go and search for disk utility start disk utility and at this moment i've got the terra master d3 400 connected via usb right over here if you want to check speed tests and whatnot just check out the full review you will have all that information right over there but in this particular case all i need to do is to check out the disk they are not initialized but it will work anyway this is just a representation if we put in uh, brand new disks right over here we can just create the rate so if i go to file i will have the rate assistant right over here and it will give me three options rate zero rate one and j bot i believe that you already know the differences and will not waste your time right over here but just have in mind rate zero might be dangerous so if you don't know what you are doing read a little bit about it because it is really important now let's press next having in mind that we have four discs i can select two which is the minimum as you could see uh, the next button did appear if i remove it will disappear but i want to select the four drives then press next i will give it a name which will be raid zero and right over here i can just press next and it will say that all the data that it's inside these disks will disappear. So just make sure that you uh, remove everything that you have on the disks before you create your RAID array because it will delete everything. Now, if I press create, it will start creating the uh, RAID array. Once again, Toshiba N300, 4 terabytes each right over here on the Terra Master D4300. And this is a quick process, so I'm not really sure if I need to cut the video or not, but probably if I need just a little bit. And that is it. RAID created successfully, as we can see right up here. Probably I did cut a few seconds of the video so that you didn't wait. But there we go. If we press done, we will have the information of the RAID right over here. 16 terabytes of total capacity. And if I go to Finder, I can go to Mac. Pro, and I've got the rate right over here. If I press on get info, it will tell me that 16 terabytes of available storage, which is rate zero. I can put everything that I need right over here. And basically, this is it to create a rate configuration. Now, if I want to delete the rate, it's really simple. Just go to delete rate and um, yes, I want to delete it. And right over here, we can just wait for a little bit. It says destroying the rate set and it will take a few seconds and hopefully i will not yeah i don't need to cut the video the delete process is complete click done to continue and there we go we have the four um, disks individually again non-initialized so we can format individually and things like that so if you want to test this out to see which raid is the best for you feel free because it's really easy to remove the rate now this was in mac os and if you are interested to know how to do it on windows just leave in the comments down below if there are enough comments i will do one of those videos using the terra master default 300 with windows that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget a usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one